Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. for that. Why, a lot of women would. Oh, you don't know what a thrill it is for a movie fan to have a shirt that's touched Marlon Brando's chest. <laughs> or, or a pipe that, that, that has touched Cary Grant's lips. Mrs. Carmichael, we have a lot to do. Get your book. Yes, sir. <sighs> now then, take a letter. To John Wayne. John Wayne, God. <laughs> oh, sit down. Yeah, I think I'd better. <laughs> All right, now are you ready? Yes, sir. Ah. Dear John. Dearest John. <laughs> Not dearest, dear. Oh, all right. Dear John. I want to thank you for the donation of your saddle for the motion picture charity ball sponsored by our bank. Mr. Mooney, <clears throat> instead of a letter, wouldn't it be all right if I just went over and thanked him in person? <laughs> no, it would not. Now, please be quiet, Mrs. Carmichael. I'm trying to think. Uh, hello? Oh, I'll have to call you back on that. I'm very busy at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah, goodbye. Uh, where, where was I? Where was I? You were like this. <laughs> I meant in the letter. Oh, well, the, the last thing you said... I, I know, I know, I know, I know. At the charity ball, we are selling many motion picture mementos, such as your saddle, for $1,000 apiece. Yeah, not quite so fast, I... Mr. Mooney. Oh, all right. <laughs> I feel this sale will bring a generous response from our very prosperous patron. Sign it, yours truly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes. Now, when they come for this stuff, send it right over to the ballroom. Yes. I'll be there supervising things for yes. tonight. I know, sir. I hope to heaven you can get it right. Yes, oh. I will. Don't worry. Oh. Dearest John. <laughs> Yeah. Look what Paramount Pictures contributed to the charity ball. That, that is the jacket that Audrey Hepburn wore in Danger in Paris. Oh, you've got some memory. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Wouldn't you just love to own something like that? Oh, I sure would. Ah, what would I do with it? I'd never go anyplace to wear anything like this. That's what you think. Have I got a surprise for you? What? You're going to that ball tonight. What? No kidding, honest. Oh, come on now, Mary Jane. I'm too old for fairy tales. Remember when you had lunch with me at the commissary yesterday? Yeah. Well, after you left, a friend of mine, Eddie Feldman, he works for Dean Martin, he wanted to know who the cute redhead was. He did? Yeah. And Dean Martin bought two tickets for the ball, and he gave them to Eddie, and I fixed it up for Eddie to take you. Well, I'd love to go to the ball, but I don't even know Eddie. Oh, he's a wonderful person. He's the kind of fellow you can spend the whole evening with and not have to be a judo expert. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's a nice fellow, but gee, not even knowing oh, him. Oh, Lucy, he's a dream. What does he look like? He's only Dean Martin's double. You mean he looks like Dean Martin? Exactly. If Eddie didn't wear glasses, you wouldn't be able to tell him apart. 
<laughs> well, thanks a lot, Mary Jane, but you just tell Eddie Feldman that Lucy Carmichael said she wouldn't dream of going out with anybody that she hasn't even met. But Lucy! And then you tell him that you talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs>